Hello, students. I hope you're having a good day. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So um, today we're going to do our da, 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 passive voice review. Okay. So all week we were studying the passive voice. Do you guys remember everything that we studied? Do you remember the difference between active and when to use passive? Does everybody remember it? Let's see. Oh, hello. Hello, Hina. Hello, Ashok. How are you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. It is Friday, TGIF. Good morning, Mohandas. Hello, hello. I hope you all had a good week. It is finally Friday. That means it's going to be the weekend. Hello from Malaysia. Hi. How are you? Hello, Amit. Oh, I'm I'm pretty good. I, I I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm trying to recover. Hello. Okay. It looks like we have um, some people in the chat, which is awesome. So I need your help with this lesson because it's going to be a review lesson. So that need that means I need part participants. Okay. Hello from Russia. Good morning from Myanmar. Hello. Okay. Ooh, hello from Chad. Wow. Okay. So let's jump into the lesson we're gonna do the passive voice review okay so i need your help to um answer the questions Ooh, the lighting in here is changing all the time it is kind of typhoon weather in japan so yeah it's really rainy and everything okay so i have my marker ready and I know somebody suggested that I um, place the whiteboard on the wall. Unfortunately, I can't do that here because I'm in an apartment, um, but I'd love to get a standing whiteboard. So if anyone has any suggestions where to get a good one, you can just let me know. <laughs> okay, so we have today five questions. We're going to do five questions and um, we're going to change. These are all active sentences. We're going to change them to passive. Okay. So I need your help to change these to passive. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, from the Congo. Yes, I remember you. Thank you so much for joining. Hello from Cambodia. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's see. I am going to do, let's see. How about number one? Okay, so let's do number one and see who can get the answer the quickest, okay? So we're changing these to passive, all right? So number one is, I will do my homework. I will do my homework. How are we able to change this to passive? So what if um, what if we don't know who will do the homework? What if, what if the, the person who's doing it is not important? All right, how can we change it? Oh, hello from, wow, Laos, Nepal, Bangladesh, hello. That's awesome. Hello, hello, hello Mah uh, Mahmoud. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Wow. So does anyone know? Oh, Mozi, very good. Yes, I think Mozi was the first one to get it. Okay. Very good. So I will do my homework. If we change that to passive, um, the object is going to become our subject. So I'll write that down. My homework. My homework. And then here we have will do, right? Will do. My homework will be done is the correct answer. 
Very good. Oh, Corey, yes, I'll do that. My homework will be done. Oh, very good, Kinmar, very good. You're, you, you've gotten most of them, very good. Okay, so I will do my homework. My homework will be done. And maybe in parentheses by me, right? My homework will be done by someone, okay? So we could also change this with get. If you remember get, we learned how to use get yesterday. We could say my homework will get done. My homework will get done somehow by somebody, right? My homework will get done. My homework will be done. Both are okay, all right? Let's try number two. He broke the window. Ooh, oh no, he broke the window. So maybe we don't want to say who broke the window. We don't want them to get in trouble, for example. How are we gonna change this so we, we hide this person's identity, right? Oh, very good. Hello, hello. Yes, very good. Kiron, yes, you're correct. Okay, so be careful. Oh, I see Ashok said the window will be broken. So be careful because we won't say, we don't, we don't say here, um, he will break the window. That then the window will be broken is okay. But here the tense is in the past, right? So he broke the window. So again, we're gonna take our object and make it our subject. So the window, the window, and we're gonna take the to be verb in the correct tense. My, the window was broken. The window was broken, very good, by him, by someone, right? The window was broken, oh no. You could also say, the window got broken. Maybe you don't know who did it or what did it, how it happened. The window got broken. That's unexpected, right, and a negative thing. Yes, very good, Nana. Very good, Mosey. Very good. The window was broken. Very good. Or the window got broken somehow. Okay, number three. My boss deleted my file. Ah, oh, my boss deleted my file. Oh, what a terrible boss we have. So maybe this is an accident. Maybe we don't want to call out our boss, right? We don't wanna say, hey boss, you deleted my file. You could be very um, indirect using the passive voice. Oh my gosh. Oh, very good, I see Sar Sarhan, got it? Yes, Ashok, very good, yes. Very good, very good. Okay, very good, Kinmar. Yes, very good, okay, so we could say my file my file was deleted. Oh my gosh. And then you could also include, if you want to say, my file was deleted by my boss, that is okay. Or my file was deleted. We can also say, my file got deleted. My file got deleted. I don't know who or what did it. I don't know the reason. My file got deleted or my file was deleted, or my file was deleted by my boss. Okay, very good, yes. Hopefully your boss is not deleting your files. That's pretty bad, right? Okay, number four, someone closed the window. So in this active sentence, we don't know who, but the, the subject is someone. So we're talking about someone, someone closed the window. But if we wanna talk about the window as the main part of our sentence, how can we change this to passive? Oh, thank you, Mahmood, you're so sweet. Oh, very good. Okay, someone closed the window. Can you see that? Someone closed the window. Oh, hello, very good. Oh, very good, Ashok, yes. So we're gonna take 
our object here, the window, the window was closed. And you could say closed by someone is also okay. The window was closed. Oops, that S does not look good. Okay. The window was closed. The window was closed by someone. Okay. The window got closed is also okay in certain situations. The window got closed. So maybe nobody did it. Maybe uh, it just closed by itself. The window got closed. Oh, maybe it's a ghost. Okay. Very good. Yes, I see a lot of good answers. Very good. I think you're understanding it more and more. That's awesome. Yes, very good. Very good. Okay, we're going to do the last one. Number five. A thief stole my car. Oh, that's terrible. A thief stole my car. How are we going to make that passive? Because we don't know who the thief is, right? Or maybe we want to emphasize my car, my car. Right? If you just notice that your car is gone, you might not think a thief stole my car. You, you, you don't know who did it, right? Yes. Okay. Keep, keep you. Uh, very good. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. I see a bunch of correct answers popping up. So my car is going to be the subject of our sentence. My car was stolen oh no my car was stolen or you could say my car got stolen my car got stolen i don't know when i don't know who i don't know what my car got stolen or my car was stolen very good have you ever had your car stolen before that would be pretty bad i remember um, in America, we can drive when we are 16 years old, very, very young. Um, I was driving and I parked my car in a big parking lot at um, my school. And when I went to go check my car, I couldn't find it. And I called my friend and I said, hey, my car was stolen. My car got stolen. What should I do? But then you know what? I actually found it. I just parked in a different spot and I was I was looking in the wrong spot. So I felt so foolish. I felt so silly. My car wasn't stolen. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go over just the pronunciation really quickly for you guys. So um, you can repeat uh, at home alone if you like. I don't know if you're in front of people in public. You might not want to, but um, it's a really good practice, okay? So, my homework will be done. My homework will be done. Or we could say, my homework will get done. My homework will get done. Okay, number two, he broke the window becomes, the window was broken. The window was broken. The window got broken. The window got broken. Very good. Oh, I just noticed we did window, window. Oh, how boring. <laughs> okay, number three. My file was deleted. My file was deleted. Or my file got deleted. My file got deleted. Okay. The window was closed. The window was closed. Or the window got closed. The window got closed. My car was stolen. My car was stolen. Or my car got stolen. Very good. So uh, Sue Y is asking, is it okay if I don't use by? So um, in these passive sentences, if you don't want to include the, the person or um, whoever did the action, so for example, in this case, my car was stolen, um, the active sentence has a thief. You could just leave it like this without the thief part. And sometimes this way is more natural. But sometimes if you want to include um, who was doing the action, you could say my car was stolen by a thief. But if you include um, the person who's doing the action, you need to say by. My car was stolen by someone. 
So the window was closed by someone. My file was deleted by someone. The window was broken by someone. My homework will be done by someone. Hopefully yourself, right? Very good. Okay, so if you guys have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to check them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys understand the passive voice now and I hope you have no trouble and you can use it freely as you wish. Okay, very good. Thank you guys so much. And um, I think there'll be some new, there will be some new videos on the YouTube channel this weekend. So please check that out. The YouTube channel is Breeze Practical English. It's the same as this Facebook page. So yes, um, if you want to subscribe, that, that really helps me out too. Thank you guys very much. Okay, so um, I'll leave this up here one more second if you guys need to see it. Okay, all right. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this lesson today. I appreciate it. Um, our new lessons will start on Monday. Um, I might post something on the weekend. I haven't decided yet. So let me know if you want to see anything uh, interesting. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you participating. Um, it seems that we're having more and more people in the chat, which is awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you next time. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.